Billionaire industrialist and founder of Serum Institute of India, Cyrus Poonawala, is believed to have agreed to set aside 60,000 vials of COVID-19 vaccine exclusively for the Parsi community. While Money Control could not independently verify the reports, they say former Bombay Parsi Panchayat Chairman Dinsha Rusi Mehta made a request to Cyrus Poonawala, saying, We are a micro-minority and every Parsi is required to be saved and healthy. At present, we are only 60,000 in numbers and 40 Parsis have died of COVID-19. To which Cyrus Punawala has now agreed. Remember, Serum Institute of India has tied up with AstraZeneca to manufacture the COVID-19 vaccine candidate being developed by Oxford University. Entrepreneur Ronnie Skruvala too had tweeted on July 26 saying, Since Parsis are to be an extinct race, there is a lobby that as vaccine does come in, there will be a special quota under saving from extinction race. And why not, if a Parsi is at the forefront of it? To which Serum Institute of India's Chief Executive Officer Adar Punawala, who's the son of Cyrus Punawala, replied by saying his company would keep more than enough doses of the COVID-19 vaccine for the Parsi community. Meanwhile, the government has also started initial discussions on issues related to logistics, ethical questions, also about how to ensure a smooth supply and effective use of a vaccine when it is ready. The government is planning to build large-scale cold storage facilities and setting up supply chain for COVID-19 vaccines currently. Ministries and authorities from across India's science and technology spectrum are involved in these discussions. Authorities are monitoring the progress of key vaccines including Oxford-AstraZeneca vaccine at Serum Institute of India, where combined Phase 2 and Phase 3 human trials are set to begin. Others are Covaxin by Bharat Biotech and Zycov D by Zydus Cadilla, both of which are in the first phase of the clinical trial. There are complex issues of distribution on whether it should be given through government hospitals and public health care facilities at the district level or if private hospitals should also be involved. Government functionaries are also debating the issue of who should be the beneficiaries of the first batch of the vaccine. Should it be the frontline healthcare workers or the country's aged population? Such issues have also become part of the worldwide debates. Apart from this, it is also unlikely that India will be able to use the entire production of either Serum Institute or others to be consumed domestically. India, the largest of the SARC countries, also has an obligation to see that its neighbours get a share of the most coveted vaccine.